hip drop, overpronation, locked sacroiliac joint, anterior pelvic tilt, and knock knees. These are the OP mechanics that are leading to the overloading of your adductors and the development of osteitis pubis. Now, in separate videos, we'll go into detail about their specific causes and the issues that they have. But from what you need to take away from OP mechanics is that all of them simply involve your body and the joints in your body moving away from their ideal alignment into a position that ends up overloading your adductors. So when you have a look at a hip drop, that's just simply, instead of your pelvis remaining nice and level, you're hip dropping side to side, moving away from its ideal position. An anterior pelvic tilt, that just involves, instead of your pelvis remaining nice and level, it tipping forward, causing your lower back to arch. A locked sacroiliac joint, when you're trying to lift your leg up, you ideally want space in your sacroiliac joint to create that movement. If your sacroiliac joint's locked though, you're going to have to start twisting and turning to compensate, which is going to make life extremely difficult for your adductors. Overpronation is simply when your foot caves in. So instead of ideally remaining nice and level, so the load can go up your body in a nice, even fashion, it caves inward, causing whiplash to go through your body as the load follows that inward caving motion. And the same thing happens with knocked knees. As your knees collapse inwards, your femur ends up internally rotating, which creates all sorts of issues for your pelvis further along the chain. OP mechanics are simply when your body loses its ideal alignment. When you have good mechanics, you're in good alignment, so load can go up and down your body without getting stuck in any specific joints. When they can't do that, when you have OP mechanics, you create what I like to describe as whiplash into specific joints and areas. And in the case of OP, these are the adductors. So when you see a hip drop in someone with OP, what's happening is, is your adductors are attaching all the way across this line through here. And they're big chunky muscles going down like that. So when you drop your hip, you're really tugging at those muscles and pulling at them really violently. You're creating whiplash into these muscles. And over enough time, they get tired, they get sore, they develop OP. Same thing with an anterior pelvic tilt. When your pelvis is nice and level, the load can go through the entire pelvis evenly. When it tips forward, however, all the load gets shunted down into your pubic symphysis. And so naturally, it starts to wear down and get sore. OP mechanics are just a process where you end up putting this whiplash into your adductors because of your poor alignment and your poor movement patterns. And fixing OP is really simple. If you can understand what these movement patterns are, if you can really understand what these OP mechanics are, well then it's a simple process of engaging in rehabilitation, engaging in some self-treatment to reverse and correct these mechanics so that you can reverse and correct your OP. Hey there. That video was probably really complicated. OP is really complicated. So why don't you let me explain it to you in person? Book in for a free 20 minute Skype consult. I can assess you, tell you what OP is, you can ask me as many questions as you like. We can go into detail about the Skype process and how it works, and we can start working on the things that you need to do to fix your OP and get back to your life. So please, book in for a free session, it's completely obligation free, and let's get started.